Hi everyone, my name is Christina and I'm the office supervisor at the Santa Fe College Teaching Zoo. For our last green Halloween post, myself and some of our zookeepers are going to be teaching you some tips and tricks to get the most out of your pumpkin this Halloween and how to make your pumpkin carving and pumpkin seed making as zero waste as possible. First, let's make some dog treats. Hi, my name is Megan and I'm a student at the Santa Fe College Teaching Zoo. I am one of those kinds of people that goes out and buys a pumpkin just so I can roast the seeds. And I always have a pumpkin left over. So I'll be showing you guys how today that we can use it for a prettier and more sustainable purpose. Hi, so I have carved and separated the seeds from my pumpkin and now we can start planting them up. This is the final product, a little sustainable fall decoration, and it would look great on yours or somebody else's front porch. So I have these pumpkins here, and we're going to be making pumpkin pie straight from the pumpkin. This is cool if you want to avoid using pumpkin from a can, or if you just have some extra pumpkin left over from using the pumpkin seeds and you just wanna do something with it so you can make a pie. So I already cut and cleaned the pumpkins and now I just need to oil them and get them on my baking sheet so they can go in the oven. That's crazy, now I have six pieces of oiled pumpkin on my baking sheet and they're ready to go in the oven which I preheated to 350. They'll be baking for 50 minutes but I recommend checking on them every 10. All right, well it's been 50 minutes and we're ready to get our pumpkin pieces out of the oven. Now that our pumpkins are cleaned, prepped, cooked, and cooled, we are ready to scoop the flesh off the pumpkins. We now have our heaping helping bowl of pumpkin flesh. So now we're just going to puree it by first putting it in the blender. Um, now I have the ingredients for a pumpkin pie. So I have a cup and three quarters of a cup of pumpkin here. I have a cup of milk with three eggs a cup of sugar, and some of our pumpkin pie spices that we'll be using. So, let's get to mixing. Now our pumpkin pie mix is all ready to go, and I have the crust already set out in our pie pan. So, we're just going to pour it in. I set the oven to 450 where the pie will be baked for 10 minutes. And then, after that, I will be baking the pie from 40 to 45 minutes at a temperature of 350. And here, after baking for quite some time, we finally have a pie that we made straight from the pumpkin. Hi guys, I'm Jod, and today we're going to be making some fun desserts and snacks with pumpkin seeds. So first, you'll want to take out your pumpkin and get all of the nice guts inside with the seeds that we'll separate later. Now that we've picked out all of our pumpkin seeds, we need to clean them up and separate all of the pumpkin flesh from the seeds so that we can clean roast the seeds. Now that we have all of our seeds dry, we'll put them into a big glass bowl and start off with our sweet and spicy. Next up is a sea salt and cracked pepper one. For our last one, we're going to do a nice sweet vanilla and honey pumpkin seed. So and there we have pumpkin seeds three ways. If 
you want something a little more savory, once you roast and shell your uh, pumpkin seeds, you can use a food processor or a blender to make a nice alternative to peanut butter called pumpkin butter. And we're going to use one cup of pumpkin seeds, shelled and roasted, one to two tablespoons of olive oil, and a pinch of salt. And we're going to blend it until it's nice and creamy for about five to eight minutes, depending, and making sure to scrape the sides while we do it. Once you get the desired consistency, you can always do add-ins such as cinnamon or in my choice, vanilla. You add in a teaspoon of it for your batch of one cup. And you'll just put that in and then put it onto a pulse for a few seconds until it blends in fully. Go ahead. Finally, make sure you compost any unused pumpkin guts or the skin and the entire pumpkin once you're finished with it. You can either throw this in your backyard compost or use a local composting company such as Beat and Pack Garden.